Okay, so here's a quick lesson on Janis Joplin's Me and Bobby McGee. It was written, of course, by Chris Christopherson. <clears throat> and it's, uh, it's got a key change in it. It starts out in the key of G, then it moves up to the key of A. So the introduction is just a G and a C, uh, like this. Okay. Then uh, the first verse is G and D7, mostly, so you're starting in G. Okay, G, C, G. Second verse is a little bit different. <clears throat> um, you got G's, a G7, and C's, and then a D7. So you go with G's. when he hits the line uh, while well, Bobby sang the blues well. Bobby sang the blues. Go C. Then do a D7. Then yeah, into the chorus. Freedom's just another word. Goes to a C. C. Now at this point the song modulates <clears throat> or just shifts <laughs> to the key of it. Okay, and you just follow the, the same structure only moved up a key for the rest of the song. So that's, um, the chords are quite easy now. The solo is uh, pretty nifty. It's short. There is a, a lead guitar that's playing in the background. Uh, but I've just focused on the solo part that um, starts, I think, at four minutes and one second into the song. <clears throat> um, it's an overdriven, uh, <clears throat> overdriven guitar, so I will uh, put on my drive channel. <laughs> So you're uh, at this point. You're in the key of A. The solo is in um, it's in uh, F sharp minor or A major. <laughs> Goes like this. Okay. So. <clears throat> You're on the fourth string. There's different locations to play this, but I find this is where I've kind of figured it out and where it's easiest for me. So you're on the fourth string, uh, Gliss, fifth to the seventh fret. Okay, that's a ninth fret, and then the ninth fret on the uh, third string. Then you're up to the tenth position on the second string. Okay. Okay. Uh, you're. Okay, that's the uh, E uh, at 12th fret, first string. Okay, and you're ending here on the 11th fret, third string. Then I hop from, I use my, my middle finger here on the 11th fret, 3rd string, 
and then I hop it over to the 10th fret, 2nd string. Okay, yeah, so. Okay, so uh, starting out 10th fret, 2nd string. Then you go to the 3rd string, 11 and 9. Then the 4th string, same thing, 11 and... Slide down to the 7th fret. This part gets pretty quiet on the track. Um, you can definitely hear this note, this E. Okay. And it starts to get quick. I'm doing is sliding the seventh fret, fourth string to the ninth, nine, and then immediately slide up to eleven, and then ninth fret, third string. Okay, you can play this with bends too. Okay, I don't play it that well. Obviously, um, and uh, listening to it, I think he actually is sliding, but uh, you know, I, maybe he's bending. Now, um, third string, eleventh fret. You're going to bend up to the thirteenth fret. You got to hit this G sharp here because the rhythm guitar is playing at this point is playing an E uh, E seven, and you got a G sharp there. You don't want to play a G over that chord. Um, So he's bending up and then hitting these two strings, first and second, at the 12th fret. That's the end of the song. He ends on that bend. Bend up to the G sharp, and then Janice comes in with na 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 na. So that's the solo. It's pretty fun. Uh, very short. I think it's about 17 seconds. Anyway, hope that's handy.